being a superhero is a trial by fire. Who's going to protect the world if not people like you? Tatiana Douglas here from Singapore. Is it too much? No, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen four episodes of She-Hawk. I really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, change of pace. Um, first question, when it was first announced that you were part of the MCU, uh, Mark Groffalo, uh tweeted, welcome to the family, cuz. <laughs> what else did he... Did he did he warn you about it, uh, you know what you're gonna get yourself into you know the pitfalls <laughs> and the the perks of being in the MCU? I didn't meet Mark until we were already filming, so so that tweet was like our first interaction. But then I didn't get to see him until we actually started filming, and we were like a couple months into filming. He came to set to do his work, and yeah, we talked a lot. We talked a lot about everything. Um, you know, everything from entering the MCU to like being a Hulk to the technical side of things and and also just about acting and it was it was amazing it was like such a treat for me because I'm such a fan of his you know on the show uh, Jennifer defended uh, Tim Roth's character Abomination so I'm just wondering if Jennifer to take on Captain America as a client <laughs> what kind of trouble it what kind of trouble is is Captain America in he's in trouble because Jen likes him a lot He's in trouble because Jen's not going to be able to stop staring at his butt. I think it's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to be able to focus on the case is the problem. I can imagine. I can totally imagine that. <laughs> and, 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 and one of my favorite scenes is, is in the first episode where you and uh, Mark, uh, the Hawk, Jennifer and, and the Hawk are fighting. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can imagine you guys wearing the motion caption suits and trying to trying to trying to keep staying in character without laughing. Yeah. What was it like shooting that 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 the uh, that rumble, that scene? That was so much fun. I mean, because yeah, it just it you really just do get to be a total goof. And and you know, like their fighting style with each other, they are very good fighters in in the sense that they're both very strong. But they also like use a coconut or a surfboard and you know, like you can't take it too seriously. And that's what's great about that scene. As much as they're pissed off at each other, they look foolish, and so that's that's very fun to play. Was it difficult to act? That, well, do, you, do you enjoy wearing the the onesie, the motion capture onesie? Yeah, I mean it's it's tough to get used to. It's definitely something that that isn't uh, natural, you know, and it and it doesn't feel like you're She Hulk when you when you're wearing it. But um, but it's also like strangely kind of taps into the same thing that you do when you're doing a theater rehearsal or something, you know, where you're having to create everything in that moment. You don't have your costume or you don't have the props or whatever. So something about being in that suit is actually kind of like really pure in a way, pure, you know, play, uh, pure make-believe. Uh, I can't wait for the episode where Daredevil appears. What else legally can you share with us about the episode <laughs> when you Legally nothing. Um, <laughs> I will say that, you know, Charlie is amazing. Uh, this character, obviously, he's developed in like a totally different style of show, but he came to our show with so much like play playfulness and 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 I really think people are going to love the dynamic between the two of them. You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. 